Hi all, welcome to Fancy Keyland. Now we are going to see uh, what is the data center over here. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So definitely whatever the content or whatever the data which we provide on left hand side of the equal to okay so for an equal to we have both the sides for example here i'm going to write a equal to input of enter so this is nothing but uh, just a simple statement so here whatever i have given uh, this particular equal to so that is uh, the most important kind of uh, operator yeah, so with yeah. the help of this particular operator we can differentiate the function as well as the variable whatever the uh, user has been assigned before yeah. the equal to that is the left hand side of the equal to it is known as the variable and the right hand side of the particular uh, equal to it is known as the function so here uh, nothing but the function i have given it is input so that is a basic function in uh, python in upcoming classes we will be seeing that so this particular thing is declared as the variable okay so in python uh, the variables will be declared in this way only whereas initially if you go for any other programming languages you will be providing that particular uh, variables like int a yeah. semicolon char b mm. semicolon then float float c semicolon so here i will just uh, maximize this and so these are the different different uh, availabilities uh, now whichever we have got so here uh, we can see i have declared three variables so these three variables are nothing but a different different uh, utilities only we'll be making it so this is the oldest uh, kind of declaration variable which we have provided and after that we will be providing like a equal to 10 b equal to some character a character means it should be and uh, c equal to some float values even if you provide integer also no issue okay so like this kind only uh, it has been applied in the previous programs but in python the variables will be automatically declared and it will be able to take the and data as input automatically so it has that much uh, particular efficiency inside this programming language so this was nothing but uh, for declaring a variable with its value uh, it was taking amount of uh, five six lines to reduce the lines what they will be doing means int a there itself they will be declaring the value okay so like this only uh, here we will be declaring each and every values in uh, different programming languages like java or uh, c c plus plus and all whereas in python the same rules only we have to follow just type any of the variable provide equal to and therefore the according to the input the variable has been declared okay there are some rules and regulations for uh, declaring the variable so the rules like a variable should not start with numerical value or alpha numeric value the variables are allowed to start with an underscore or any of the characters or alphabets you are not supposed to use any of the reserved keywords as any of the variable because in uh, python while compared to other programming languages we have many keywords Okay, because in C, C++, whenever we are practicing, we will be providing the variable, variable itself as an input or output like that and all. But once when we come here, uh, here for input itself, uh, whatever the word I have given the input, it is a reserved keyword for a specific function. So like that kind of words and all here, it is not allowed to use. 
next so from the variable whether we will be able to find out the data type yeah so data type is also possible uh, i have said that initially that particular python automatically considers the data type about what we have provided and the thing is uh, like other programming languages here the character cannot be taken char is not defined over here and therefore uh, the available data types are string float integer python uh, sorry yeah so integer float and string so these are the uh, different data types available uh, even long is also available long as well as double but uh, it is very rarely applied most of them they will be stopping with uh, double itself okay so integer means everyone knows uh, negative to positive sign uh, with multiple numeric numbers so from negative to positive it will be able to travel so therefore zero is also considered as an integer float means the decimal values and then comes with the string set of characters between the double quotes okay so uh, how that particular python is able to find out the data type so let us have a sample execution so here i will be using a variable and i am going to declare the value now i can use the function like type so if i enter that it is being processed uh, because initially i did not connected uh, to the tpu now only it is getting connected over there yeah so therefore the type of data i have provided in the variable a it is nothing but integer the same range uh, actually the data types are having the same range in all the programming languages there is no change at all never ever changes that particular data type range because those are constant that's what i am clearly saying the most uh, derived change in both python and the other programming languages is the programming method like easy package installation easy to write the code so that sort of uh, things only has been changed even the same c++ also we can use for data science but we have to create n number of lines for that particular function maybe 500 or 1000 lines etc so here i am going to change the value once again and it has been changed into float now again i am going to change it now it has been taken as string so this is known as data type identification as well as variable declaration if you like this video kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends Don't forget to subscribe our channel.